In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add an application center into your Rangon workspace. So for this tutorial to work, you must have already followed the first tutorial. If you don't know where that is, you should see a card in the top right of your screen right now, or you can just click on the link to the first tutorial in the description down below. So this is the second video of this tutorial, now I'm going to show you what we can do from where we dropped off. So right now, you should have requested the Roblox bot, and you should have got your Roblox bot. So you should see something like this. Welcome yada yada, please rank da 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 in your group. So let's head to roblox.com, then to the group that you selected, and then what we need to do is we need to find the member that Rank Gun told us that they added. Now the user is already ranked to developer. Now we need to make sure that this user has ranking permissions and a like. So developer will be able to rank admin, moderator, player, and guest. However, they won't be able to rank to their own role or roles above. This is just a security feature in place by Roblox to stop abuse. And we're going to have to make sure that the role has the managed lower ranked member ranks permission enabled. This is so that the developer role can rank all the roles below, which is what the bot has. Now keep in mind, this UI won't update, I think they're planning on adding that, but it hasn't been added yet. But luckily, making an application center with RankGun is super easy. All we have to do is head to application center, and once this finishes loading, we should be able to go from there. So here we have this UI, and it gives us the option to add a new job. This is exactly what we're going to have to do. So let's call this job the moderator and let's give it a short description. This application will allow you to receive the or to receive the moderator role at Cookie Tech. Cookie Tech. There we go. Eh, can't type. Now once we've done this, we'll have to set our job to be auto-graded. So let's say can be auto-graded and let's select the rank awarded and let's select the rank awarded on pass, which will be developer. Nope, which will be moderator. Then we can create and we can go from there. So now let's click on edit and now we're going to have this center editor user interface. So I'm going to make a super simple question. Of course, you can have as many questions as you want, but just for the simplicity of this video, I'm going to have one question. Do you or should you subscribe to the Cookie Tech YouTube channel? And we all know the answer for this is obviously yes. Incorrect answer is no. Maybe. Absolutely not. Then all we need to do is click on create question. It should pop up. The correct response will be in blue. And then we can also edit the application center. So I'm going to go for this green color so it's super significant. Of course you're going to have to get this 100% right to be able to pass, and you will be awarded the moderator role when you pass. Then let's click finish, and our application center is ready to work. Now you may be thinking to yourself, hey, how am I going to be able to upload this to my Roblox game? Well it's super simple, all you have to do is click on this button up here, and it's going to download this file. I downloaded it beforehand just to test it again, so I'm just going to click on that download button again. And then let's open this file, and it's going to open up Roblox Studio. Okay, let's wait for it to boot up. There we go. Then don't worry about this code. We should just be worried about publishing the game. You can publish it to your group if you want to. Just for the simplicity of this tutorial, once more I'll upload it to my account. Let's call this Application Center. Then let's create it, and we'll have to make sure a few settings are set to how they're supposed to be set. So let's click on game settings, make sure allow HTTP requests is enabled. So make sure this is green, otherwise your application center will absolutely not work. Then you may also have to set your game to be public, I'm going to set it to friends for security reasons once more, and then let's save. And then finally what we're going to have to do is head over to our game. Now what we have to do is click on create, and it's going to take us over to our create dashboard. Now if you do it on a group game, make sure you head to whichever group you are, but I'm going to keep it on my personal account. Here's my application center, you're going to view on Roblox, you're going to click on the three dots, then configure this place, and then you're going to have to make sure that the access size is set to a maximum visitor count of one player. So this will prevent, for example, players having um, multiple players inside of one servers which could be abused, so I recommend setting it to one. 
then save changes, place access successfully updated, and then finally we can try this out. So let's boot up this game, connecting to Roblox, starting Roblox. Also you'll notice if we head to the rank on panel, once this loads up, I believe if we refresh the page, okay it might take a little longer, now you can see that that notification was gone, symbolising, yeah, go away GeForce, symbolising that the application centre is sending and receiving data from Rankum. So finally, here is our application centre, let's click on apply. As you can see, our primary colour just went there, and we should have the transition, ooh that is bright. Should you subscribe to the Cookie Take YouTube channel? Yes, absolutely. But let's say we're wrong, and we say no. And we click on the next question, it's going to say, hey, you were kicked, unfortunately you failed this application. However, this application center doesn't require you to ever upload it to Roblox again. You can edit it completely from the panel, so let's change this question, should you like this video? And of course the wrong answer is going to be no, and then the correct answer is obviously yes. Then we can create this question, remove this previous question, click finish, okay. If, if we go into the application center again, it should work perfectly fine. So here we go, it's loading, application center, finding an available server, here we go, apply, and there should be the green color. I think these buttons are a little bit slow, but I think they're fixing this in the future. And as you can see, the question has updated. So of course this application center is auto ranking, to test it you'll have to go on an alt account Right now, I can't really test that as I don't have time, but once again, so once again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any problems with Rank Gun, be sure to click on support, and then you can chat with one of our live agents who will be happy to help. And thank you for tuning in. So, thank you for watching. Once again, all of the video links and everything will be linked down below. That's all from me, and bye bye